Welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. In today's episode, we focus on the Dengue virus, a formidable challenge to global health that transcends borders and affects millions each year. Our story begins with a tiny but mighty creature, the Aedes mosquito. This little insect is the main vector, or carrier, of the Dengue virus. It's like a taxi for the virus, transporting it from person to person. The Aedes mosquito transmits dengue in a straightforward cycle. It first bites an infected individual, absorbing the dengue virus. Within days, the mosquito becomes a carrier, capable of spreading the virus to healthy individuals through subsequent bites. This efficient process enables the mosquito to be a key facilitator in the spread of dengue. The Dengue virus is a tiny infectious agent belonging to the Flavivirus genus. It's a single-stranded RNA virus that leads to Dengue disease, a range of symptoms and health effects that occur in a person after they've been infected by the virus. But what exactly unfolds with Dengue disease? Well, it manifests as a viral infection causing flu-like symptoms, which, in some cases, can escalate into severe dengue. Also known as dengue hemorrhagic fever, marked by intense fever, abdominal pain, vomiting, and bleeding. This life-threatening condition requires immediate medical attention, as it can lead to shock, organ failure, and even death. Dengue isn't just one, but four closely related viruses known as serotypes, numbered from DNV1 to DNV4. Imagine them as four siblings in the Dengue family, each with their unique way of causing trouble. When a person is infected with one of these serotypes, the body's immune system swings into action, developing antibodies to fight off the virus. Surviving an infection does grant you immunity, but here's the twist. It's only to that specific serotype. While you're shielded for life against that one sibling, the other three can still knock on your door and your previous encounter doesn't leave you well prepared to fight them off. And it gets more complex. When you're infected a second time by a different serotype, the risk of severe dengue dramatically increases. Why does this happen? It's due to something called Antibody Dependent Enhancement, or ADE. The antibodies from the first infection can actually help the second type of virus invade your immune cells more efficiently, leading to a more severe reaction. This phenomenon shows why dengue is such a tricky adversary. It's not just fighting off a virus, it's about how our bodies react differently each time we encounter a new serotype. This is why a person who's had dengue before needs to be even more cautious. Dengue has a passport and loves to travel, affecting more than 100 countries around the world. But it's most common in Southeast Asia, the Western Pacific, Latin America, and Africa. So, if you're planning a trip, it's a good idea to check if Dengue is a guest in your destination. Now you might be wondering, how do I avoid this unwanted guest? Great question. There's no specific treatment for Dengue, but there are ways to prevent it. Prevention focuses on mosquito control and avoiding mosquito bites. This includes using insect repellent, wearing clothes that cover as much of the body as possible, and ensuring homes and workplaces are protected with screens or mosquito nets. We've taken a close look at dengue, but there's always more to learn. We're a team of scientists at a contract research organization that specializes in virus research, including dengue, and we'd be happy to connect with researchers who might benefit from our services. And if you're into virology and enjoyed this video, follow our channel for more straightforward science content.